Hello, and welcome to the Tree Cities of the World Application Overview. My name is Lauren Wires, and I am the program coordinator here at the Arbor Day Foundation. Um, the Tree Cities of the World program is an international effort to recognize cities and towns committed to ensuring that their urban forests and trees are properly maintained, sustainably managed, and duly celebrated. I'm excited to walk you through the application portal today and how you can apply to become recognized as a tree city. So first, we start at our login page. To begin the application, you will want to press login or submit. From here, you will be asked to create an account. When you create an account, you're going to be asked your city name, your country, and the state within your country that you live. If this state or region does not apply to your country, you can skip this. From here, we will ask your login contact information, your first name, last name, address, and email. You will be given a pre-populated city login username, and please make note that this username will be used to log in and out of your application at any time um, so you can come back and submit at a later time if you need, as well as a password that you will set up to log into your account. Once this area is completely filled out, you can press submit and you will be taken to the application portal. As you can see at the top of the application portal, there is a save and log out button. If you start your application but are unable to complete it, you can save and log out and come back to your application at any time to submit it later on. Going through the application, there is some initial information we ask for. We will ask for your city information to begin. Please select the type of local government that your city is run by. If it does not fall in under one of these categories, you can click on other and explain the type of local government that your city runs under. Again, we will ask your country, your state, and the current population of the city that you live in. We will also ask for contact information for the primary contact for the application. This person is the person we will contact if we have any questions about the application or need some clarifications on any aspects of your application. For this person, we will ask for your full name, email address, phone number, mailing address, as well. Moving on to the standards for the application. Standard one is the responsibility for city trees. We are asking that you indicate which one or more of the following your city has. Does your city have a city tree manager, department or office, or a tree board that is responsible for their city trees? You can click again one or multiple of these and more information will pop up. As you can see, I've clicked City Tree Manager and it's going to ask for that person's name and contact information, as well as any qualifications he or she has and any key issues that he or she address throughout the year pertaining to your city trees. Again, you can click on multiple and more information will pop up below. See here, I clicked on department and office, and again, it asks for the main contact information for this person, as well as any qualifications they have, how many meetings that they have within the year, as well as any key issues addressed throughout that year. And finally, tree board. If you were to click on that, we ask for the main contact for your tree board as well as your tree board composition. Who is your tree board made up of? Uh, what members do you have? The qualifications of those members. If your members represent different organizations, um, if it's a government organization or a nonprofit, any information like that is helpful. We will also ask how many times a year your tree board meets as well as any key issues addressed by your tree board throughout the year. Moving on to standard two, city tree policies. It is required that your city has written laws or official policies for tree planting, tree care, and tree removal 
to be recognized as a tree city of the world. Here you will indicate that your city does have these laws by checking the box. We will also ask you to upload an attachment of your laws into this file attachment login. You can also, if you have a link to a website where you have your laws or policies, upload the website link here. We will also ask you to summarize in a few sentences your current laws, procedures, or policies that you have uploaded above. An optional indication down here at the bottom is that your city also has procedures um, that guide staff and residents on proper methods for tree planting and care or a safety program for tree workers. This section is not required, but if you do have these procedures or program, we do ask that you indicate that. Moving on to standard three, tree and forest assessments. We do ask that your city has a count or number of street trees, park trees, or a percent tree canopy coverage report. Here you can click one or multiple if your city has multiple. We will ask is this a complete census or a sample inventory that your city has, the year which this was completed, the number of street trees, or if you had clicked on park trees, it would ask you the number of park trees. We ask you to upload a tree diversity chart as well as a tree size chart from this. If you indicate that you have a percent tree canopy coverage, we ask you indicate the method used for these counts. Again, you can select one or multiple of these. The year the assessment was taken place, the canopy extent, percent coverage, and describe how the estimate that you have was derived. We then optionally ask you to upload a report or study if this is available. Again, this is optional. Moving on to standard four, annual budget. We ask that you indicate your annual expenditures spent on your city trees this past year. You can first indicate which currency you will be reporting in. From there, please enter the expenditures for tree planting, urban forest management, tree removals, or anything else under the other category. We do ask that you report costs in whole numbers and no symbols are used. If you do have expenditures under other, please indicate what these other expenses are that you entered above. You will see a total tally up at the bottom from the numbers you indicated above. We also ask that you indicate the number of trees your city planted, pruned, removed the past year as well as the number of volunteer hours you had in the city on city trees. Final standard five, we asked how your city celebrated city trees and forests throughout the year. Did you have a celebration on your national tree day or some other date throughout the year? Please also indicate the type of event. If it does not fall under one of these three categories, you may select other and explain what type of event you had, the name of your event, the date in which your event took place, and a description of your event. Just a few sentences is fine. And finally, please upload some sort of supplemental documentation from your event, whether it's a program of the activities, a photo, any sort of media coverage, and or a city proclamation. Again, this can be an uploaded document or you can link to a website with this upload. And finally, once you have completed your application, we ask for a digital signature from the appropriate chief executive of your city. This can be a mayor or a city administrator. You, we will indicate their name, their title, and the date that this was digitally signed. From here, you will be able to submit your application for us to review. If we have any questions at all about your application, I will reach out with those questions via email. You will also be notified via email once your application has been approved.
If you do have any questions about this application, please resort back to our website at treecitiesoftheworld.com. Have a wonderful day.